obviously this is a situation where an embargo was broken and we've seen this before within you know gaming um there was a uh, nintendo content creator Hi everybody, thanks for joining me on this video. Finally getting into the areas, places, and also software I've been meaning to get to. And I might have said it in the last few videos. But we're going to be looking at the X-Files unrestricted access. Because the government and the FBI has finally given me full unrestricted access to their files. Especially related to X-Files. And of course, I'm a huge X-Files fan. If you're from the 90s, generally most are, but this I've actually had and have a personal stake in because I've had this forever and I've not been able to actually see if I can install it, let alone use it. Uh, it's pretty old though. It came out in 98. It's not even sure it's really considered a game. It's more of a, just kind of an informational dossier, but I have yet to dig into this. I haven't seen a lot of people dig into this either, so we will try to see if we can get this to install. But I will tell you this, if I can't get it to install on modern PCs, I'm getting it installed somewhere because this is happening. So let's unbox this puppy. Let's get her put in and see if we can get detected from the government. Detected from the government, all right. The X-Files Unrestricted Access. This is the definitive X-Files interactive resource. Nice little glossy looking with all the rainbow and crazy looking graphics here. As you take control into the database, because you've hacked into the highly classified government website, giving you all of the unrestricted X-Files access. And apparently this uses a browser and all sorts of things, so we're just going to see if we can get this to work. <laughs> of course, it may not be considered a game, but it was actually reviewed as a game, shockingly enough. So, let's just uh, see what's inside. So, first of all, we've got this. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, we've got something here at the bottom. I don't know why they do this with these uh, older ones. Put them at the top and the bottom for whatever it is. Oh, can't get anything out of there. Trust no one. What else we got? Nope, that's it. I thought there was more. I was way wrong. <laughs> got a booklet here. Apparently this is all... Hey, they even had novels back in the day. But this is supposed to cover anything from the first to the fourth season of X-Files. And this is the CD case, it looks like. We've got both CDs and a manual. <laughs> I love how, like, filled out, how descriptive this is, and just how graphic it is with all the X-Files. There's even a free sneak preview of the X-Files game. So... All right, let's pop it in. Let's see what we can get from unrestricted access. Fox Interactive for Windows 95. Oh, it shows the graphic here. On install. Ooh. Didn't even have to do anything yet. Install everything. I love it. <laughs> America Online, if you want to install and get 50 free hours now, not today. Apparently, you need to install this in order for it to work. So, you must have NT 4.0 Gold version. Please click OK to cancel installation. Okay. Let's see. It's not gonna work. Okay. The second disc here is where the data resides, which is what it looks like. I don't know if it's not still. Okay, well, I think it is, so.
Let's see if it works. Oh, sweet baby. Oh my god, it's working. I can't believe this. You guys don't even know. Even that itself was worth it. Wow, it's even got the proper time and everything. Search, surveillance, communications. Oh my god, this is so cool! <laughs> so you can search case files. Hold on here. <gasps> Look at all this. It's so cool. It's, they've got surveillance, communications. I don't know how to how to remove this stuff. It's probably not formatted right, but you know. Yeah, it's doing some weirdness with this. Somehow this isn't like leaving. <laughs> and I don't know how to move it. Oh, so it's surveillance, so I guess you move this appropriately and then other things just kind of pop up. Dana, Catherine, Scully. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> so it's like its own little browser and I love it. Extraterrestrials, alphabetical, case files. You could search by keyword. CIA. Oh wow, okay. Well, we're not gonna search. It just kind of leaves all that up there. It's doing some weirdness though. We can get rid of you. That's my old history, so that's Scully. And all of that stuff there. Surveillance goes down there. You can update your case file, go to the website, help FAQ and preferences. Never check for updates. So this really was a thing they kept updating over time. That's pretty rad. So, all right, we can get rid of you. This is your history of what you've downloaded or looked at. is your help and then you've got these files down here at the bottom which I think are the same thing audio still image evidence text and docu viewer yeah that's your help let's go back to the browser So let's go back to search. Let's 
So these are all the different... Yeah, these are all the different actual alphabetical files or episodes. Let's do chronological, see if that works. Okay, so these are your... So you do these uh, basically each and every time for it. So this is the pilot. Just like little little thing here. I don't think you can expand this. <laughs> to reopen the investigation, the fourth similar death. Oh my god, this is so cool. It's for case files. This is the dossier. I don't know why the video and stuff down here isn't working. But... So Deep Throat was number two in it. If you click Molder, it'll show him. Buddha Haas. <laughs> Obviously Scully. With the Bureau Report. Oh, let's use a Java, which we don't have. <laughs> I bet you this would work pretty well on an older system with all this stuff installed. Because the data is actually coming from the second disk. But because we're not, don't have any like Java or anything like that, it's probably not loading it correctly. So this is the picture that he picks up at the diner while he's there in town. When I see he, I mean Mulder. So you can actually see it. Go away though. Yeah, it's doing some weirdness. Some different lights, pictures, this, this file again. Yeah, the film of it was destroyed when the secret agents came and picked them up. All right, let's see here. Let's look at some good ones here. Earl Meyer Flask. This was uh, the finale of the first season. Yeah. That one's trying to show video and it doesn't. No wonder that's probably why the video's not working. Oh, this is so cool that it's working, though. So, desktop designer, fact file, activates the display and visual, click next in fact file. I think this is the game or something like that. Uh, let's go back. You can get your screensaver. Choose a screensaver so you can get Mulder's apartment. Mulder. If you hit accept, does it do anything? Probably not, but we could probably have this on the other computer. It'll probably work. Oh, wow. It's got a lot here, actually. It's crazy. All right, system display makes it possible easy to configure the appearance. I wonder if all of this is on. Oh, okay, so you can actually change everything here. Let's go previous. I wonder if this is on the. Um... This is the sound that it plays. So if we do that, does it play it? Nope. Okay, so we probably should check the disc and we can see. Well, that does it for this guy. But we have a nice little treat that we're going to try. 
This is the X-Files Expo Tour. This is the uh, sneak peek of the video game that actually comes out later. And believe it or not, it's been ported to like a lot of different uh, mediums. So we're gonna try and see if we can get this to work here. Cause it seems the unrestricted access supposedly had a sneak peek, but um, it didn't actually show it or play it. So let's see if we can get this working now. <laughs> Well, it's not going to work because if you notice here, uh, it was sent and sealed and already kind of broken. So that answers that question. <laughs> the syndicate got a hold of this one, that's for sure. Anyway, thanks for joining me on this. I'm going to throw up and see if we can get some gameplay working or having this thing actually work on the older system. And next time, we'll actually try the full-blown X-Files video game and see if we can actually play that on Will Install. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.